So, I got this in the mail today. This is Colonial Twilight, the French-Algerian War, 1954 to 1962, designed by Brian Train from our good friends at GMT Games. This is the uh, seventh game in the coin series, counterinsurgency series of games. And uh, this one's different than all the ones that have come before in that this game is uh, for two players. You can solo it, but you can also play two players where all the other games had four factions. This one only has two. So we're gonna open up and take a look at all the goodies inside. So here we go. Do, 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 do. This is sort of a military and political and uh, economic simulation, as it were, of the FLN who uh, was trying to uh, revolt on All Saints' Eve uh, in Algeria, trying to wrestle control of Algeria from the French, because at the time it was a French uh, territory or department, is what the French called it. And of course now it's an independent country, and this is what this game sort of simulates. So I'm going to open this up. This has been on my P500 list for a bit. Rules of play. Standard uh, GMT rule case kind of rule book. Really short, um, really short. I've been already reading through this and it's, uh, it's not long at all, probably because it's only two factions. A um, couple of scenarios as well. Not a lot of illustrations. Um, the initiative track is very different than what people are probably used to. Uh, but it's actually really uh, intuitive, which is really cool. That's that. Of course, the playbook, which will take someone through uh, a tutorial. Um, this is for first-time players to start here at the beginning, and I believe is probably... Uh, let's see what else we got here. Non-player examples of play, because there are bots for this. Um, of course, designer notes in the back. And then in the very back, of course, there is uh, detailed descriptions of all the event cards, uh, what they are, what they do, but more specifically, the background and the historical context of, of the cards themselves. Next is Player Aid, non player FLN. Very nice. All cool stuff, all non-player stuff. Here's the operations and special activities for the FLN. Of course, there's two of these, right? Operations, special activities, and on the back side are the government operations and special activities. And of course, always in the bottom right is the uh, victory conditions. Sequence of play sheet. On the back is spaces list, little legend of the different uh, pieces, the French uh, troops, French police, French bases, and the Algerian troops and Algerian police, and the uh, FLN uh, guerrillas and their bases. Let's see, this is what's amazing. This is a coin game and there's only one counter sheet. This is it. Insane. There's so few counters in this game. All nice, centered, these square ones here. Usual thing, I'll be probably clipping those on the corners to make them look nice like these. A couple of blanks, extras. Let's see. This is the board, we'll come back to that later. Oh, I can't wait to see the board. I'm so excited to see the board, you have no idea. Uh, some dice. Uh, you, you, know, you get some dice with the game. Uh, blue with white dots and black with green. Uh, I probably won't be using these. I can't see. That's really hard for me to see. <coughs> Excuse me. Too hard for me to see my bad eyesight. Bag of bits. Blues, greens, blacks, right? And of course we have some cards. Let's open these up. And, and as always, nice insert inside uh, to hold everything. All good. Uh, not an insert, I take that back, I'm sorry. Um, decorative, right? It's not really functional, right? You can put the cards in here, but um, 
extra bags, but uh, sometimes most people throw them all in a plano box, plastic box. Uh, this game, it's not that many pieces, so maybe I'll just leave them in the bag. I don't know. All right, card time. Here's the back. Look at that. So, your event cards, historical photos on top. Here we go. With the events. God, can't get it centered. What's interesting is, um, let me zoom ahead here. Uh, there's no order of operations up here, which is, uh, which I'm so used to seeing. It isn't on here. Um, but these are the events. Oops. These are the events. Usually, uh, these events here above um, will support the government, and this is the insurgents in the bottom. This is all the FLN down here, and of course the government would be up top. Yep. All nice. Good quality card stock, as always. Um, I may or may not sleeve these. I mean, this is all good stuff, but they're really glossy. Um, but, uh, yeah. All good. I always wanted to play this, a lot of these games, with all the cards in order as opposed to shuffled up. And in the back, there should be some... Here's the propaganda cards, which get shuffled in. Uh, you make separate decks, shuffle that in, and then when you hit that, you go through these... Um, these yeah, that list there, victory, resource commitment, support, redeploy, and reset. And then from that, you can determine whether or not you have to end the game because of a winning condition, a uh, victory condition. Um, <clears throat> but I've always wanted to play it in order uh, just for historical feel. So now you've seen that, we're going to reset to show you uh, the board, which is going to be big and beautiful. Um, yeah, I can't fit this all in. This board is dope. Um, it looks great. Um, atop here is your resource track. Um, I cannot get it in, but over here, can't quite see it, is government and available forces. I would have played casualties capabilities box. There's a France track here. Way over here on the far right, this is the border zone track, which tracks what I believe, if I'm not mistaken, when um, troops in Tunisia and on the opposite side, Morocco, when they can enter into Algeria to to aid the FLN, because um, they they were kept out by an electrified fence of all things. FLN available forces in the bottom right, legend in the bottom left, and you can see. I mean, it really, really looks nice. Um, I was worried when I first saw the prototypes of this board, what it was going to look like. I was worried about the browns and the tans, um, you know, really, uh, I don't know, looking really like a, a distant plane. Uh, all about, it's a, another coin game takes place in Afghanistan, and it's not the prettiest board, I don't think. Um, Fire in the Lake is clearly the, the best looking board out of all of them. Um, Liberty or Death, uh, American Insurrection, that's a very close second. Uh, but this is really nice. I think what, what makes it work, honestly, is this blue up here. This blue is really, really nice and makes it pop and really separates this and doesn't just make it all muddy, which is cool. Yeah, it's not laying flat. It'll lay flat in time. I'll put some weight on it, but um, looks great. Um, boxes for um, control and opposition, spots for bases, very neat and tidy. In other games, in other coin games, you just kind of threw the base on there anywhere. Now there's an actual space for it, which is kind of nifty. There's no lines of communication, but the other interesting thing to note is, I'm not sure if you can see it uh, in the camera up here, but you'll see like uh, an area like Medea has this code number here, 4-1, or uh, Barica, which is 1-1. One -one. Um, I think they did that to make it, and it goes for, um, for the most part, kind of, sort of, goes from east to west, 
um, I think it may t make it easier to find spaces um, because of the pronunciation of the of the names. Mm, I don't know. Um, Colonial Twilight, two-player game, looks great. Uh, playing it solo, right? One bot. You play the government. The bot plays the FLN. This is going to be cool. I cannot. I know some people who have played this already in playtesting and things like that, and they said it's really, really awesome. And I'm really, really excited. Um, this is probably the most hyped I've ever been for a coin game. Um, I had Fire in the Lake, I sold it. Um, I thought it was just too complex for me, it was a little over my head. Um, and I'm sh not that tall either, I'm five foot nine. But I, I didn't really care for it. So uh, this might be more up my alley. And uh, it's an interesting topic. I don't know a lot about it. I've been reading more about it in preparation to play this. That is Colonial Twilight. Thanks for watching. Bye.